previously on Life is Strange Before the Storm. So the mustache drove me to school today. Yep, that's what my life's become. Even worse, he thought the ride was like a tell me how things are going to be from now on opportunity. I shut that yeah. down real quick, but I have a feeling he's going to run crying to Ma about it, because that's the kind of thing. That's the kind of little man baby he is. I had a dream about Dad again. The one where I was there when it happened. It seems to get harder and harder after each of these to remember what's real and what's not. All I can remember after I wake up is how much we miss him. I hope that never goes away. To Chloe, who wasn't there, or was I? Okay, oh no, 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 I don't think I've read this. Have I ever told you about Nathan Prescott, aka Spoiled Dick Baby? Anyway, you know that old question about what if you could go back in time and assassinate Hitler? Well, I worry I just stopped that assassination when I got between Nathan and an ass beating by Drew, football jock, and all round angry teenager. Maybe I'm getting soft in my old age? Spoke to Elliot too. He was super nice as always. He wanted to hang out, as always. And I was non committal, as always. Lol. Poor guy, he's super persistent. It must be hard trying to give a shit about me. Speaking of giving a shit, I actually played a game with Steph and Mikey this morning. It wasn't terrible, or I'm not sure I have the energy to consistently care that much about anything. I probably should be concerned about how little a shit I give these days, but that would mean giving a shit, wouldn't it? Chloe the catch hyphen twenty two. I I don't know. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, when is she finally going to talk about Rachel Amber? Finally knows, bitch, here it is. Rachel Amber is the most popular girl at school, and she's super into hanging out with me all of a sudden. Like this morning when she pulled me to the drama lab and asked for my extra opinion about true love in front of the whole class. I told her true love is bull, of course. Mr. Keaton, the drama teacher, actually seemed to agree with me. Then Rachel brought me to her dressing room. Gotta say, that was the quickest I've gone from meeting someone to helping them get dressed. But that's Rachel. She doesn't give a fuck. She just lets us all hang out. Then Rachel hatched this crazy plan for us to skip school together that involves jumping onto a train. You know, like kids dish school in the 60s, the 1860s. Stay tuned, Max. I have a feeling there'll be a lot more to tell you soon. Chloe, love doctor. Did we ever play Two Truths and a Lie? You would have been terrible at it. We would have called it Two Truths and Oh God, can I take it back? Sorry for lying. Please, the guilt hurts. <laughs> Two Truths and a Lie should be a class in school. I feel like I learned a lot. For example... Rachel is ambidextrous, she's a Leo, and she's from California. I also learned that I still have lots more to learn about lying. Rachel read me like an open book. She called bull yeah. on my made-up cat allergy. Basically, she's a human lie detector. Have I mentioned that we were on a train? It was pretty cool, sitting there and watching the world fly by. Then we jumped off it and wound up in some crazy-ass park north of town. Not, no big deal. Captain Chloe Bluebeard, Scourge of Arcadia Bay. With all this Shakespeare yeah. going on, I thought I'd write you a sonnet. Then I realized that rhyming is hard and nothing really rhymes with Rachel. Which seems fitting, given that I've actually never met anyone like Rachel before. Okay, like, side note, I honestly believe that Chloe's a really good writer. Uh, that's just a commentation, like... I, I like reading what she has to write. With Rachel, everything is a game of some kind. I had to use my breaking and entry skills to get this viewfinder working. Because we could spy on peeps at the park. Rachel was hilarious making up dialogue for them, and actually held my own mocking some tight shorts wearing Speedwalker. After we watched some old couple suck face, Rachel decided it was high time we unsobered ourselves. So we hatched a plan to steal wine from these yuppie picnicters, and since it's Rachel, the plan involved elaborate acting and more improv on my part. I killed it once again. I'd still never be caught dead on stage with this type of acting I can get behind. Our hard orange, our hard earned wine and tow. We journeyed forth in search of more fun and games. Chloe the Unsober. Max. Uh, I don't even know. I don't. First off, was your money on Chloe blows this and goes back to having no friends again? I hope so. How did I pick it up? One moment I'm having the day of my life, the next moment I'm awkwardly confessing feelings for her, like some dork asking the head cheerleader to the prom, and she blew me off because of course she did. But wait, that's not all, because as soon as Rachel leaves, I find a car. My dead dad's f***ing car. This twisted, shattered, ugly reminder of what used to be my life. So I smashed it up, obviously, and then I passed out and I had a dream where my dad told me to find Rachel back at the park. And Rachel set herself on fire. But enough about me. How was your day? Chloe, the twisted, shattered, and ugly. I wonder if... I know I, I played the Life is Strange original game, but I just wonder if... Max ever got to read any of these. Because we all know Max journaled too, but I don't know. I don't think it was ever mentioned, but still. So, Max, when did you decide you're done with me? I mean, how did you know it was time to move on? 
I asked because Rachel and I have decided we're done with the yeah. town. We've had it. It's bye bye bay. But instead of just ghosting it like someone I know, ooh, the pettiness. We're gonna leave a trail of destruction in our wake. For Rachel, that means burning yeah. the forest down. I know, crazy, but guess what? I'm pretty crazy too. In not unrelated news, I finally got my ass suspended from Blackwell. And Rachel got booed from her play, which strangely sucks even worse. I should probably be more upset about being a high school dropout, but I'm not. It's just another chapter of history in the story of my life. So yeah, burning bridges literally and academically. That's how you make an exit, woman. Chloe, the exit wounder. Hmm. I mean, you're not a complete dropout. You're gonna get reinstated. <laughs> and I don't agree with burning a forest down. That's endangering so many people's lives and the environment. And, like, just... You, your, your dad literally just had an affair. Like, boo-hoo, bitch. Max, you ever hated someone's guts but then later felt bad because you found out they're actually cooler than you thought? Yeah, me neither. David got inside his douchebag skull that he needs to start cracking down on me, which meant demanding I empty my pockets for him in the Blackwell parking lot. I went along with it, but just so I could whip my bag of herb and a stupid mustached face. I guess it backfired because now David is moving to my old house. I say old house because if he's there, I'm sure I should yeah. am not. Oh, I also bumped into Elliot. He's super into me still. Everyone wants a piece of price. Chloe Bane of Fasis. I like how I like how Chloe knows that Elliot's super into her. Goodness gracious. He is so bad at making moves though. Like I cringe. Like just, just stop Elliot. I really I don't feel like going through all the people because like it's just saying information we already know. But I'm curious as what it has to say for some people. Elliot. As far as Blackwell students go, Elliot Hampton is pretty not terrible. He's out with some of the douchers sometimes, but I get the sense he's mostly a lone wolf like this chick. Similar to my class schedule, Elliot and I have history, but no chemistry or drama. LOL! We hooked up a few times shortly after Dad died, but there wasn't really much to it. I think I was just bored. I'm gonna be a little lonely. Weird, I know. Don't always get where Elliot's coming from. He's constantly asking to do stuff with me, which is nice, but I'm not sure we have that much in common anymore. Sometimes when we talk, it seems like almost like he's studying me. I can't tell if he actually wants to be friends or just get in my pants. I guess I should be flattered either way, but I'm also not sure how much I care. Sorry, Elliot. He wants to get in your pants. Like, he, he wants to get in your pants. He's not cool. It's not cool. Warren was better. Bye. Alright. Not right, meow. That's cute. How do you describe Rachel Amber? I've been trying to find the right words ever since we met. The crazy thing about Rachel is that I really should hate her guts. I mean, she's a straight-A student, beloved by everyone at school, including students and teachers. She's super into acting, and I hear she even does modeling on the side, which I imagine her district attorney dad and Stepford housewife mom support her in. It all sounds like a recipe for awfulness. And right, Rachel somehow is nothing like the privileged golden child type you'd expect. She's not like any type, actually. She's probably the most surprising person I've ever met. And that's not just because when we met, she was helping me take down some skeevy assholes at a rock show. But it's just this feeling she gives off. Like when you're with her, anything is possible. Yeah. It really sounds like I have a crush on her, doesn't it? Here's hoping she reveals something really horrible about herself soon, like a stamp collection or a love for cat memes. How's that horrible? I just accidentally skipped. But no, come back! Come back! Come back! Come back! How's that horrible? Cat memes are amazing! Something to make her a little mess, a, a little less, indescribably awesome. Well, cat memes are amazing, I don't know what you're talking about. Chloe is gonna have a new father. And I do not approve. Which way is up when your whole life has been turned upside down? Joyce has become a bitch, and, um... We're gonna have to deal with step douche for a really long time now. And now just Chloe's just sitting in the junkyard, probably gonna break some more stuff. Blackwell's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? You could just ditch town, like you said you would. I 
I like his shoes. I mean, I picked this outfit, so like, of course it's good, but... <laughs> When's Rachel gonna meet up with her? And I guess it's gonna be the preface to Chloe's pickup truck. The backstory. She. I always wondered, I was like, there's no way her parents bought her that. They don't have the money. <laughs> so, um. I guess she. Not I guess, but like, she built it from the junkyard. Ugh. Fixed it up. This thing is a mess, but maybe I can fix it. No, Chloe, women if don't know how to fix things. If this beast run again, the first thing it needs is a new battery. That's what Step Douche says. Wonder if I can find one around here. Okay, so we're looking for a battery, and I highly doubt there'd be a working battery in a junkyard that'd be good enough for a car, but um, this is a video game, and there's probably going to be one, so... Magical battery goes here. Soon as I magically find one. LT to be my objective. Get battery put in truck. It's funny because she writes everything on her hand. I used to do that when I wasn't doing so well in school. My organization was whatever I scribbled mm. on my hand. I think I'm all smashed out. For now. Guess I was pretty pissed at Rachel last night. Amazing that someone I just met could have made me this angry. Okay. So, let's see. I wonder if I'll ever ride one of these again. You got suspended, not expelled. I worked very hard to get you only suspended. Okay, boo-boo? You will ride one again. You're a long way from the beach. Okay. Sign. Make it a great day. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> uh, I always wanted a pet snake. Instead, I got David. Fuck everything. Lol. Ew. Here's a side of Arcadia Bay they don't put on the postcards. Oh, just steal a car battery. This thing looks somewhat new. Maybe the battery still works? I didn't even consider that option. What are you trying to hide under there, Hood? Need something to pry it open? Latch. Oh, or you could just do that. I don't know how cars work, I don't drive. In official car speak, this is the thing that makes the other things do their things. <laughs> Here we go, the pick of the litter. Bingo bongo. Please notice. Wow. <laughs> Shitty ride, drug dealer. Really thought crime paid better. Okay, let's read. Warning, this vehicle has been seized and impounded in execution of a warrant slash order. This vehicle is strained and impounded in accordance with the authority Provided by Rule 42 of the Oregon Magistrate's Court Rules in pursuance of Section 2.1 of the Narcotics Damage Act of 1985. It is offense to, without lawful excuse, destroy, damage, or tamper 
with this property. Huh. Okay, then. I was gonna say just steal this car, but like, one, there's that giant latch, or whatever you call that on the tire, and two, I don't want to mess with this vehicle. So, yeah. I used to love opening up the diner with mom before school. I guess those days are now officially over. You're not expelled! You're not expelled! You got suspended, boo-boo. Just wait a few months. Hell, enjoy this break. Oh, I remember. Um, one of these cars will have the anarchy symbol written on them. This Matt has seen some things. Mostly feet. Hmm. What else to look at? And when's my GF gonna come? I also want to know when Chloe gets her beanie. I wonder if the her beanie's from Rachel. That'd be dope. Alrighty. I was about to say, is that safe? Shouldn't you, like, I don't know, have gloves or... I don't know... Any sort of protection? I don't know how cables or anything work, so Chloe's pretty... She has... She she has survival skills. She'd be able to survive on her own. I have no idea how to do any of this crap. All I have to do is clean it up. This thing needs more love than I can give right now. In the meantime, maybe I can spruce it up a bit. Ooh. While Rachel a skate Chloe. patch could be nice, I should probably cover over this massive hole. Honestly, I'd clean the entire car. This is pretty nasty. <laughs> probably a good idea to cover over this with something. So I guess we're gonna find all this in the junkyard? That doesn't sound like a sanitary idea. Maybe there's another light bulb I can put in here. But it's still cool how, like, handy she is. Anyways, let's get out and message my girlfriend. Okay. Let's see what else this trash heap has to offer. Alright, Texan. Gonna start from the most recent unread convo. Chloe. David's trying to do what he thinks is best. He's such a tool. Correct. And also, David's what he thinks is best is never the best. That was shown even in the first game, when he picked on Kate. That was so not the best thing to do. I didn't like that he asked you to empty your pockets, but then you had weed, didn't you? Because it's awesome. Chloe, why do you respond like that? Uh, and obviously, okay, literally, I only complied because I genuinely believed that Joyce already knew. How do you not know? It's literally sitting wide open in her room. Do you never walk into your daughter's room? Oh, and like how... <sighs> and like just the way Chloe acts, like that's just naivete. Naivete? Naivete. Whatever that word is. And also, I just didn't want to like act like I was hiding anything, you know? And also, like, the fact that she emptied her pockets, the fact that I complied, that doesn't make sense. That's not, like, the sole reason Dave is moving in. They already discussed, they already, like, decided that they were gonna do that before I even, like, walked up to them. So it's BS. I just don't know what to do anymore. It rhymes with Cleve Flavid. Chloe, can you just forget about Dave for a second? Think about me. Maybe I just need space, okay? Maybe, Maybe I need my daughter back. Honestly, just leave David. What the heck? Rachel! Okay, so, after you are. Seriously, we'll get revenge. Chloe, 
price. I don't suck. You really, really don't. My mom thinks I do. Don't know if I can stand going home the night. Still there? Grabbing something from home, then I'll meet you at junkyard. See you really soon. You better. Well, time to see my G. Uh. Alright, so what the hell was I doing again? Find more to fix. Alright. I don't think I've been this way before. Sorry, Max. I think I'm more jealous of you than anything. Hopefully, I'll be escaping this place soon, too. Yeah. Smile, bitch. <laughs> okay, I already looked at that. Toolbox. First you take my mom. Then you take my home. God. Fuck you, David. Glass looks way prettier when it's broken. Wonder what else that's true for. Yikes. Hmm. Bottles, bottles everywhere, and not one beer to drink. You don't need to drink it, Chloe. <laughs> that is disgusting. Oh my gosh. I wonder where the anarchy car is. I want to find it. I know what's in the junkyard. This rug has some miles on it. That's nasty. Today, you begin an exciting new life as a floor mat. How do you just inconspicuously hide that? Honey, I am so confused. Christmas lights. Oh, I could use that for the the light on top. Gotta love a place where even Christmas looks depressing. Here's hoping for a holiday miracle to light up my ride. You should take multiple in case one runs out. Wait, seats? Oh, I can't take the seat. Well, whatever. Now this is a Vortex Club I wouldn't mind joining. Vortex Club. Be whoever you are as we eat, drink, and merrily say thank you to Reagan and his oppressive capitalist regime. Communism. Atheism. Free love. Outcasts unite! Damn. Well, too bad that Blackwell's long gone from now. You're a long way from the country club, guy. That's kind of cute. So... Let's put some stuff in. And the last thing I need is something to cover the seats, I think. In the summer, Christmas lights are just party lights. Now I just gotta find the blanket or something for the seat. Hmm. Which way to go? I think I should go this way. No, not going over there. Shoe box. Leave no trash box unopened. That's my motto. What? That's kind of cool. I guess there are some cool knickknacks you can find from a junkyard.
<laughs> Damn, you cigarettes. Need something to prop up. Nice. Nearly all great art is made on the insides of car hoods atop ships in the middle of junkyards. What do I want to tell my fellow sailors of the seven trash heaps? Bury your treasure, burial grounds. Just tell them some treasure. Got it. I guess it's music and thinking time. I can't believe Rachel set that fire. I don't think she meant to, but I also don't think she didn't mean to. Crazy that something so destructive can also be so beautiful. Or a fire that began in a trash can could to light up the entire sky. Yeah. In conclusion, fire. Pretty sweet. But also bad for everything living. Or I don't know, animals who live in forests. I don't know, Rachel. I don't know, Chloe. I don't know, forest fires, just like the thought of like living in those areas, especially in California right now, it's just, it's just really scary. I need something to cover that Because it's becoming like seat. a serious issue. Anyways. How do I get down? Oh, okay. Okay, um, so yeah, I was going this way. I believe. It's just need Sell a blanket. Sell games till this guy enslaves everyone. <laughs> Robots will take over the world! Radio. Piss head? <laughs> Yo, it's piss head. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 I remember this place, uh, Chloe was talking about how her and Rachel just, like, chilled here. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off. <laughs>
I can't I can't take piss head for too long. All right. Uh Oh, got it. Pirate flag. Wonder if there's treasure buried nearby. <laughs> Oh, that's dope. This might make the perfect cover for that torn seat. Alright, let's get out of here. Have I checked everything, though? I think so. Okay, let's get the hell out. Then hopefully my girlfriend would have had arrived. Did she just tape it? You can hang here, but I get to pick the tunes, okay? Good talk. This thing looks like a rusted out shopping cart. Probably drives like one too. That's if it ever does drive. So which the fact seems questionable. Okay, so I'm a bit still. How sweet would that be? So I got the little bobblehead and now um I get a new scene because I found it. Cause I did the triangle thing because when she placed it there. I don't know, I yeah. hope it's a good thing. Frank, it's Frank. Oh. Hey, Frank. What's up? Yeah, just checking in to see how you're doing. Really? No. Listen, we've got some business to discuss. Where can we meet? What about... Oh no, the money that uh -huh. I stole! Like, drugs? No! Frank. I'm hanging out in the junkyard, north of town. The junkyard, that's great. Stay there, I'll see you. I stole the money, okay. and now I'm screwed. And, Frank? I'm not in trouble or anything, right? I'm screwed. Uh, I don't know. Did you do anything you should be in trouble for? Yes. <laughs> like, in general? Or to you? I'll see you soon. Oh, man. I stole the money. I forgot about the scene where they're banging on the door. No, 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 no. No, 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 I messed up, I messed up, I messed up. I should have sold the money. Oh, no. I'm screwed. Why did they do that? Time for a hard-earned smoke break. Oh, I'm so... I totally forgot. All right, let's look at this guy. Does Principal Wells eat pizza with a fork and knife? That's disgusting. <laughs> I knew there was something off about that guy. I'm so screwed. Fixing the truck was hard work. Time to kick back and light up when I'm done looking around. You only get one chance to make a first expression. Mystical? Frightening. Let's scare some bitches. This'll give intruders something to think about. Does your truck look like a Christmas party on wheels? Yeah, didn't think so. I'm scared. I'm literally anxious because I stole the money. Oh, man. Dude, I'm literally... Oh, man. I wonder, is it really the people coming after me in the banging the door sequence that was shown previously? Because... Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. So now we're just gonna sit here and smoke and wait for Rachel and Frank. Man. Ed, that might have not been a smart idea to invite Frank over to the junkyard when Rachel's gonna come too because we don't know their history or what connection they had right now but I feel like they did have some kind of romantic relationship I just don't know the timing of it so that kind of sucks
down. I'm just, uh, I feel like throwing up. I don't want anything bad to happen to Chloe. I didn't think of anything of it. And there's no way that the vendor guy could have known that it was me who stole the money unless someone saw and tattled. So, we will see. <laughs> Am I screwed? Probably yes. Oh no. Is there a fire? Shit. I slept all day. Is the fire coming to you? What? No. What the hell? No, 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 no. No. Oh. Is this a nightmare or is this real? Who the hell is that? Wow. See? This is why forest fires are fiend. You shouldn't have been here. No, it's a nightmare. Dad? There's William. That bird is really eerie. I wonder what it symbolizes. Do I feel like roasting a marshmallow? William, sorry, but that marshmallow, how long you've been roasting, it's probably burnt right now. Man, I'm creeped out. Where's the marshmallow? Do I even like marshmallows? Who doesn't like marshmallows? Dude, I want a marshmallow right now. I miss him so much. Dad, what are we doing here? Why are you feeding the bird a burnt marshmallow? Are you trying to tell me something? Get the hell out. Please wake up, Chloe. And Chloe's got it really rough. She's constantly haunted Amazing, by this. Amazing, isn't it? I can't look away. Sure. Don't pretend you're not mesmerized too. I'm not mesmerized by the massive amount of destruction. Thanks. See? That's very scary. You're so drawn to it. You don't even realize the danger. No, I realize the danger. That is scary. Danger? Get out. Fire You're in danger, blinds Chloe. Us, just like darkness. But darkness blinds with absence. With loss. What does fire blind with? Beauty. Is this a metaphor for Rachel? Is she gonna endanger Chloe? Because she is but beautiful and it blinds everyone. There's a greater beauty yet to come. Incredible. What the hell? Fire is jealous, Chloe. It wants all the beauty for itself. That's why you need to be careful. Careful of what? Oh my god! Ah, it's eating it! Ah! <laughs> I hope that's not 
my metaphor for Rachel because if it is, I'm gonna be, huh? Should I keep Chloe away from her? I don't know. I don't. I mean, it is sort of Rachel's fault she got suspended. What next? I don't want to think like that though. I just I don't want to. But that's the only thing I can think of from that giant metaphor that William's trying to tell Chloe. It can. It's a general thing that could be used for everyone else. But yeah. Hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette? You could start a fire. You are not one to talk, boo boo. So, are you gonna invite me in? Or what? <laughs> of course. I love giving rides to strange drifters. Hop in. Of course, BBG. <laughs> Thanks. Chloe's such a dork. Damn, you've been busy. It's nothing. Just some junk I found lying around. A uh, pirate flag? That shit's uh, cool. bright green light? That is dark. Too dark. Perfect dark. Chloe, this is incredible. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. Escape? I hope. Huh. That's the hope. But it doesn't exactly drive yet. You'll figure it out. And while you're at it, we're also going to need some money. <laughs> you know, to buy stuff. Uh-huh. Car and money? <laughs> Anything else you'd like? Luckily, there's no rush. Your parents got money. True. And no Blackwell. For you. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> that Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. I can't believe he actually suspended you. Really? I'd say it's like the most believable thing that's ever happened to anyone in the history of forever. That's pretty agreed. I'm just so pissed about the play. How could they let Victoria Chase jack your role? Because life is a tale told by an idiot full of sound and fury signifying nothing. Hell, yeah. when is the play? Totally. Oh, it's tonight! I'm gonna miss it! At least Wells has no idea what really went down with us last night. Shit got pretty wild. Us? Pretty wild? I don't know which one I should press. Us? I mean, was your fault. Pretty wild. I, I don't- if there's no point in like pointing blame right now. Like, bitch it was your fault, you caused an entire fire, and I'm the one who got suspended. But, uh, I'm not that petty. I'm pretty- pretty good, so pretty wild? Rachel, that was more than pretty wild. You went absolutely nuts last night. What the hell were you thinking? It's better to I say was that. angry. I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh, but now you're in on it too. Accessory after the fact. Unless you tell on me, of course. I'm no snitch. <laughs> I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick Tater David. He announced his plans to move in this morning. Oh, Chloe, that's awful. I'm so sorry. You know what we both could use? <laughs> Therapy. True. Therapy. You start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. <laughs> well, Doc. David, Fire, Blackwell. David's the obvious one. There's this dildo with a mustache who's been dating my mom, and now he thinks... <sighs> he's moving in with us. How do I stop him? Hmm. That's a hard one. 
I'm not sure there's really anything you can do. Then what the hell am I talking to you for? Just because you can't stop him doesn't mean you don't fight back. The resistance begins now. True. All right. You're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. What have you got? Step douche. He's a uh, step douche. Because he's inserting himself where he doesn't belong. Also, he's a douche. <laughs> Poetic. May I also suggest stepladder? Why stepladder? Because he climbs on your mom every night. Yikes! And pretty soon they'll be stepping down the aisle. What the hell kind of therapist are you? That is you? the worst therapy Sorry. ever. It's called shock therapy. Highly controversial. You are horrible! <laughs> Bye. So, my new friend, who everyone thinks is perfect, did something batshit fucking nutso last night. What do I do? This perfect friend of yours, who I'm assuming is also an exceptional beauty, sounds <laughs> like she may have been inspired by someone new in her life. Someone who is also, may I add, Oh! What? Oh! What is happening right now? The stupid man. Perhaps this friend of yours, who I reiterate must be just stunning, needed someone in her life to teach her how to steal wine from yuppie picnickers. How not to give a fuck, because she was tired of having to give so many fucks all the time. That makes sense. Now make out. Blackwell. I've been booted from school, and I'm not entirely sure what to do about it. You mean how to cope with your feelings of anger and disappointment? No. I mean how to express my feelings of intense joy. Uh-huh. Do you think you might be taking this a little too well? You tell me. I'd say I'm exceptionally well-adjusted. I'd bet my therapist's license that no one's ever called you that before. <laughs> Touche, Doc. That was actually somewhat therapeutic. Thank you. Now lay on my lap, baby. It's always a pleasure delving into the mind of Chloe Price. And now it's your turn. Tell me all about what it's like being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scumbag. It sucks. Too blunt? Sorry. I do that sometimes. You're a pretty boy. Nah, so. I'm just. Ugh, I don't know. Oh, hell yeah! Oh, yeah! Can we talk about something else? How I'm super gay of for course. you? Of course. Play fire truck. Let's talk about the truck. I kind of fixed the truck a bit. That might mean I have life skills, something I've really tried to avoid. Upshot, I'm closer to becoming a car thief. That's pretty badass. Wait, I can't talk about the Do other ones? Do you think there's a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore? You're just whatever you think other people want you to be. I think you have a personality. I wasn't talking about me. My dad doesn't really exist. You saw him in Wells' office. The whole thing is a performance. And now I'm starting to feel like everything in my life is bullshit. But he's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? I mean, you could die. Is that too blunt? You're not like him? You couldn't be like him even if you wanted to. You're too awesome. Hell yeah. The fact that you believe that makes me feel better. Shit. It's playtime. Gotta go clean out my dressing room for Victoria. Not exactly the role I thought I'd be playing tonight. Oh well. Hey, 
I was thinking that after yes! the show, screw maybe Elliot. Go do something. I don't care Just about no Elliot. You and me. Yes. Just something criminal. Criminally fun. Oh hell yeah! I'm in. As long as we don't get cut. Wait, I want to go Wait, see the play. You forgot your bag. It's for you. Just a little survival kit for your new life on the lamb. Drive safe, Chloe. I want to see the play. What? That was a pretty gay look. S especially that. 